Morning, it's Julian Meller, uh, Positive Impact Golf Coach based here at Stony Deer Park near Coventry. It's a beautiful morning, the sun's out at last, it's been a little bit cold this winter. Um, today's video is about the senior golfer, the senior golf swing. I would say that um, I'm a senior golf swing specialist and, and I'm not sure that there's many teaching pros in the UK who can boast this. Um, we do things a little bit differently at Positive Impact Golf. Um, we have three deadly don'ts, um, which I'm going to talk about in a second, and we allow things to move naturally without, uh, without causing pain, without causing an awkwardness within the golf swing. I've got a few simple uh, steps that I'm just going to cover that will hopefully give you a clearer understanding of, of what we're trying to do. Number one, you're going to need to learn La Dance to Golf. It's so simple, I do this exercise at least a hundred times a day, but this is the number one thing that you need to start to learn. Turn right and turn left. It looks so simple, doesn't it? There's two, th two three things happening there really is there's a turn both ways there's a weight shift both ways and critically look at my uh, feet see I'm allowing them to move naturally now a lot of modern golf swings are all about lower body resistance keeping your foot still um, trying to resist your hip turn still trying to get a 90 degree shoulder turn but you can even hear how that's putting strain on my body it's taking my breath away if you turn naturally you're going to feel far more relaxed and i'll guarantee to you one thing a relaxed effortless golf swing will probably hit the ball further than a tense contrived golf swing yeah we're going to allow your body to move as naturally as it can this is going to take away pain, it's going to take away awkwardness in the knees, in the hips, it's going to allow your shoulders to move freer without resistance. So when we swing the club naturally, we're going to allow your feet to move. Because this is going to help with your turning and weight shift. The other number one enemy of the golf swing is tension. Tension is a killer. We must, uh, we must keep that to a minimum where possible. We like to score it on a scale of 10. If 10 is the tightest you can be, tighten the shoulders, tighten the arms, tighten the hands, tighten the hips, that is going to hurt your golf swing. Um, I used to be around about eight and a half, nine. I used to have loads of tension in my golf swing. And I thought that was a good thing, by the way. I'm now down to two, and I've practiced at zero. Um, it's very weird, when you practice at zero, you naturally tighten up a little bit when you start to move the golf club. So don't be afraid of relaxing too much because you never know what's on the, the other side of too much. So let go of that tension once you let go of it in the grip, you'll probably be aware that it will reduce in the arms, the shoulders, the lower back, the knees, um, all areas of the body that as we start to get older become less mobile. So we want to allow as much mobility in these parts as possible. Now the other thing that's um, commonly said and taught amongst golf is keep your left arm straight if you're a right handed golfer opposite if you're a left-handed golfer. Keep your arms straight. How much tension do you think is in my arm if I try and keep it straight? Loads. Now, the reason we don't want it straight is because a straight arm is a tight arm and a tight arm is actually a short arm. It will reduce your arc, so let it hang freely. When we swing the golf club, so what if the elbow bends? I've hit as many good shots with a bent left arm as I have with a straight left arm. Don't be afraid to allow your arm to bend. Don't try and keep it straight. Now, if we can combine, sorry, there's a plane just flying over. If we can combine 
the foot movement, the arm movement, the turning of the weight shift, that should start to feel a little bit more relaxed. I'll just hit a shot now. Okay, so I'm really, really relaxed in my setup, in my grip. Just before I do that, one more thing that's just sprung to mind, posture. A lot, to be, a lot of people saying, right, arms out straight, bend from your hips, relax your knees, create a straight back. Again, this is going to load you back up with tension. My lower back now is really tight. It's also gone into my shoulders, into my chest. Not conducive to what we're trying to do. What we like seeing you to do is stand a little bit taller and be a little bit closer to the ball because this is going to ease tension. It's going to take it away from your back. So again, don't be afraid of standing that little bit closer to the ball than you may have done normally. I'm just going to hit this shot now. Watch my feet, watch my arm. I've just hit a beautiful golf shot. Don't take my word for it. Go onto the practice ground, learn La Dance to Golf, allow your arms to move freely and relaxed. Don't, don't keep them too, too straight. Learn a balanced finish, because that's gonna help with turning weight shift. And it also helps with a thing called coordination. So if I'm turning to the right, my weight shifting to the right, my club moves freely and then it does the opposite. That's the ultimate in coordination. Allow things to move freely. Any queries uh, about the golf swing, uh, if you're a senior golfer, I would definitely um, try what I've just spoke about. And if you've got any problems, pop and see me. Uh, my full contact details on my website, it's juniormellagolfschool.co.uk. I'm based in uh, near Coventry. Uh, any questions, any queries, contact me and I'll do my best to answer them. Thanks for watching. Bye.